The Great Guitar Build-Off. For the second year in a row, this truly great competition has brought people together to do something that we all love, which is to build guitars. Once again this year, we've seen a huge, huge array of very, very talented people all coming together, showing what they can do, producing instruments of amazing quality and amazing creativity. And that's what it's all about, really. Personally, I love to see everyone else's builds, see what, how other people reimagine the craft in ways I can't. Last year's competition was brilliant. For me personally, it was amazing. It brought me to where I am now, a teacher. Amazingly, somehow, I'm not sure how. This year, I entered with a completely different mindset. I still had a huge amount of fun, but oh boy, was it so much tougher. I really pushed the boat out with my entry this year, and I think it shows. I set a lot of goals, and I achieved all of them, and more. As with most of my builds, I started with a plan and a clear direction in my head, which was very, very quickly thwarted when I couldn't find walnut for the build. So I settled on oven call. I'm a big believer in having themes throughout a build. My main and predominant theme on this build was the oven call and flame maple. I was delighted with the materials. I was able to find a lovely, beautiful piece of oven call and some of the best flamed maple I've ever seen. My secondary theme, of course, was the brass and ebony, which I'm delighted with how it turned out and how well these two themes merge together. I'm a big believer in keeping themes, designs, simple as possible, and I think I achieved that this year. Every element in this build had to be thought out meticulously and planned for and other design elements taken into account for them. Because there was a lot that really came together in this. It ended up into a domino effect. Every small detail that I wanted needed another detail, which needed another detail and another. And it just grew into the instrument that I now have that I'm so happy with. I feel like I ticked all of the boxes this year. It's a multi-scale neck through, asymmetrical neck carve, carve top, semi-hollow, inlaid pick guard, everything is book matched. I set a lot of goals and I feel like I hit them all and I am so, so happy with the result. I created problems, I created solutions. I created solutions to problems I never knew I was going to have and my solutions created other problems. It was a complicated build, by far the most complicated I've taken on. And I wish that I could say that I did it all by myself, but that is simply not the case. I had so much help from family, friends, people who had never played guitars, let alone built them, were able to offer me fresh perspectives that I just couldn't have. They were able to think outside the box and they were invaluable in helping me to solve some of the problems and some of the challenges I had with this build. Overall, I could not be happier with this build, how it went and the result from it. This is a guitar I'm gonna keep for years to come and I'm gonna play it. I haven't really been playing properly for a while now, but this guitar really truly makes me want to pick it up, play it, learn more. And in the end, that's what it's all about. But enough from me. Let's let the guitar speak for itself in the hands of some really, really talented guys. I hope you enjoyed the video series and I hope you enjoy 
this little demo. Thank you for watching. I'm Sean, this is Alan Luthery.